How's it going guys? Dan here from Who Figure Adventures and today is the day that Doctor Who is back. 14 months since the power of the Doctor and yeah, it's quite exciting. Um, so today is uh, Doctor Who and the Star Beast, uh, the first of the specials and I feel like I should say, a bit of a disclaimer for this video, I have seen the episode. Uh, I watched it last Thursday at um, at a school reading in Cardiff for the 60th anniversary uh, and I did a poll on X sort of saying like oh would people still want a video on the Star Beast uh, I will say that I have seen it and everything uh, will people want to see a video I'll, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to do one because no doubt I'll pick up on some easter eggs bits I might have missed um, be able to, to talk about bits and bobs that, um, that I liked, that I didn't like in the episode and stuff like that. Um, and got majority yes, so that's why I'm doing one. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think it's uncommon for people to do unfull rush reactions as long as they say that, that it isn't a full rush one, then surely it's okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, watching it in a cinema and stuff like that, you you, you will forget little bits and bobs if you're not watching it straight way after and stuff like that. So, hopefully it's okay and you guys don't mind. Um, but, yeah, um, I do just want to quickly talk about watching this in cinema and stuff like that. Wow. It's, it's amazing. It's so good. And sitting on the same row as Russell T Davis and Stephen Powell <laughs> watching Doctor Who is madness to me um, they are both the loveliest people stop to talk to everyone and stuff like that and um, it was just a really great time being at a drinks reception and having beer and wine with Russell T Davis that's mad that's one of the best things that i've ever done uh, <laughs> but yeah it was a really really amazing day being in cardiff uh got to go all over i went to the tortured hub and everything like that and it was sick um but yeah you guys don't care about that you just want to see me watch doctor who <laughs> um so yeah for the first time in over a year i can say that we're about to watch doctor who new Doctor Who and it's very exciting. Russell T Davis, David Tennant, Catherine Tate, Rachel Talalay, I mean what a team behind it is. It's, it's gonna be some really good specials I can tell but yeah I'm really jealous of people who haven't seen it yet because there's people now I'm recording this with about 10, min 10 minutes to go and there's people out there who have not seen this yet and it's very exciting to think that they have no idea what's going to happen. The new title sequence, and it's gorgeous. And the TARDIS as well. Oh. I mean, if you're watching this, I'm sure you all have seen it already, but yeah. <laughs> oh, it's it's a very exciting era upcoming. But yeah. Uh, Sonic's out of ready, I suppose. Um, and it's time for some brand new Doctor Who. So, without any further ado, well, the titles. I still think it's so odd to see this logo on everything. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, Lord. Oh, it just looks so good, and he looks so good. Friend, that costume's and just name was Donna Noble. amazing, because like, Lord and human. um, we travel the stars um, together. Look at it, that costume. It's amazing. Donna saved the, the thing I don't get about this opening bit, right, is... The obviously, Donna... Oh, well, obviously, God. it's just meant to act as a... bit of a wee fool... Rash for... No. No. fans, or new. No. 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 Because if Donna ever Why is he in space? She will die. And now I've got a nice life. I know that... With a nice fella and a nice house. 13 set was gone. Why don't I just stand him in front of the doors? Done. But I just think something's missing. I it just seems odd to see him just again. stood in space. Now the days are drawing in. I keep having the more music, though. The music is very good. I've 
think the story hasn't ended yet. Oh. Right, look. And here we go, the new titles. They're good, they're really good, but there's just one issue I have with them. I find a bit of the format's a bit different, like it should the, the name should be now. Well it's in it's it's odd. But yeah my one issue, that logo. It looks awful. Like it's it's an alright logo in itself. But here on the titles it's just it doesn't fit. Now I'll have a music here. It's so nice and fresh. Ah, oh, wait your tally lay. Come on, Rosie. Rose. Rose. Here he is, Sean. Rose. Oh, Norris, how is she? She's fine. <laughs> After the accident. She's not fine. <laughs> it was her fault. She's been fine. I like seeing the doctor on like a solo adventure, so to speak. Um because I don't know, it's just, just something about seeing tenant just crawl about in in buildings and hiding away and stuff. It it just looks really good. And I should know, I invented them. <laughs> Here she oh, is, Sylvia. Trouble. I've made you a nice curry. You didn't see anything. It's so good to just see all these characters <laughs> back. <Jumbo>. Like <laughs> I miss everything. Well, <sighs> good. I you look absolutely gorgeous. There's just no no words Listen, to say. You. I like how much they've softened up Sylvia. Uh, and the biggest sausage roll I've ever seen. I like to think that be. when Tennant really said to her, Oh, maybe you should. No, when she went, um, oh, What did she say at the I end of Journey's think. End? Uh, something on the lines of. Um, she means, well, uh, she means, well, she's my daughter and stuff like that. And Tennant went, Well, maybe. Maybe you should tell her that sometime. I like to think of that bit of a development from that. She's she seems to be a lot nicer to her. I am the meat. You can talk. Oh my god. The meat looks amazing. It really does. They've they've really put a lot of work into it and stuff. I fell from the stars. I hurt my paw. Here we go. I mean, what what's this about? Remember when this used to be a Sonic School Rugal driver? I mean, look, what's he doing there? He's literally... It's... It's mad. <laughs> the stuff that this Sonic can do now, I mean, it's a... It's, it's a really good design. Uh, but that's just mad, the fact that he can conjure up school greens and stuff. Too good for this, now. this used to open doors. Doctor? That's a double-bladed dagger drive. I like this. I like how the doctor Shirley just instantly just sort of, scientific advisor number well, how how we easily just goes like evening, like like the old friends who have never I've met each other. I'm gonna get a bonus just for but Shirley's evening. talking like unit to the doctor. But if that makes sense. Why are you hiding away? We're on the same side. Now, have you got anything for recycling? I've done it. Come on, Mum. I'm starving. <laughs> Look at it, it back there. <laughs> it's hilarious. Mum, please. I, RTD's done a really good idea of um, <gasps> of adapting the Star Beast. And those eyes are amazing. They look so real. They look. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Did you teach her? <laughs> what the hell? Ah, you see, when I watched the episode, I was wondering how did the Doctor know to go that way to Donna's house, but he heard her. I just, I just, just heard the voice now, and this bit, Sylvia's, Sylvia and Sean, the two highlights of this episode. Oh, Sylvia, <laughs> so nice to see you again. Could you let me in? And slap. <laughs> hey, hey, that's how. <laughs> Smells nice. Best character. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. He's not dead. As I was yet. watching it, I knew that this kind of he's 94. He can't manage the stairs. This kind of conversation would happen because obviously he's in the giggle. Room, like a cottage and a garden, and it's almost free. 
run by that lot in the middle of town. Unit, this woman in charge, Kate, she says, he's an old soldier, she'll look after him. Right, I know her. <laughs> She's looking after Will. Brilliant. I can't lie about that, Kate, so I'll be looking after the Doctor's yes, mates and stuff. I promise I can. Uh, I very much like the stones of blue road where for once we're about to get here. Evening boys. I thought that bit was cool. Oh, it's just so good to just see Tenant. Just running around being the doctor again. Oh, here we go. Ignition in 2.30. If there was anything else I could do, but there's only one thing left. But it'll kill you. Then do it. Fine. I thought this, this bit was a bit of the, the regeneration that happens. Um, I don't know. So I could be kind. So I could be nice. So I could be helpful. I, why? I had a subconscious, infracutaneous, retrofold memory. <laughs> Making me act as soft as you. I will triple drive the particle manifesto, overstep the umbilical feet. Is that I am the doctor? It does sound a lot like I am the doctor. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, it sounds a lot like I am the doctor. What? 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 You're dead. But. I thought you were dead. <laughs> when did Donna meet the Cybermen? Or is it the Doctor's memories too? Would it be the Doctor Donna? We could go and see Will. I love the fact that the Doctor Donna, no, Rose, Sylvia all sort of know about. The doctor, the doctor's oh, so life and stuff well, rose with a medical writer Sylvia from He's back in the day, with Donna and Donna, you know, being the doctor, doctor Donna. Sean, one last time. he didn't know sweet oh, FA. One trip, that's he didn't know what's going on. One <laughs> tiny little trip, that is a promise. Has he even been told what the TARDIS is? <laughs> Me and the doctor. Now, the gasp in the cinema when you saw that little bit of <laughs> the interior, right? the gasp was what? huge. It took out all God, the air in the cinema. <laughs> you know, me, in a box, with another man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not him. And here we go, oh, one sorry, of the best TARDIS man. reveals. And the phone is back on the door. See, this is like... The eight is TARDIS but just expanded and bigger and oh it's 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 gorgeous. And it's huge as well. Apparently William Marvel TARDIS was Tenant's idea, but um, if they hadn't done that, then I don't think we'd really have understood how big it really is. But I'm not too sure what to think of a console though, it doesn't look like a traditional console. Um, I'm sure I'll warm to it. I like a console like Capaldi's, which is full of control roles, fits in with a sort of scheme oh, and stuff. <laughs> Alright, that bit's hilarious. <laughs> Look at that big scanner on the wall. I didn't see I didn't see that first time. I'm guessing that's a bit of a ref runs to the crystal cool weed yeah, dispenser. Box. With my I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about they actually put like money into TV. making a nice big TARDIS set because yeah. obviously this will carry on with Shooter Cat were maybe for Doctor After, who she knows, but it's it's, but it's something that we're going to see a lot and like with, jobs. you know, thir and compared to 13s, that was so very, new. didn't, didn't feel fit for purpose, as stupid as it sounds. More style over substance. Having a coffee. <laughs> What's gonna go wrong? Oh my god! <laughs> the comic timing with that, and the oh my god. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. We can end up anywhere. anywhere. There we go, and it's our first or two special. Now the future at the end. I mean. All I can hear are just gasps. <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> as stupid as it sounds. 
but no, it is it is a good theme tune and the vortex as well is nice, new and different, quite reminiscent of a first Matt Smith one with a clouds on the vortex. But yeah. So guys, that was Doctor Who and the Star Beast. I will be putting my hand in. Um, yeah, a, a good story, a good way to come back to the show. Um, it was, it did feel a lot like a series four story. It's um, one that would easily fit in that series. Um, obviously, we don't really know what's coming next week, or kind of a week after, to be honest with you. Um, so that's going to be quite fun to find out but um, yeah it's really nice to have Doctor Who back um, trying to think about things to talk about so the titles stunning except for that logo I believe they'll fix that for Shooty Gatwa fingers cool lost um, the theme tune obviously sounds so much better being the studio version compared to the orchestra one um, Catherine Tate Oh no, hang on. David Tennant, obviously really good to have him back and stuff. Um, this is something really good about seeing David Tennant on TV as Doctor Who. Um, Catherine Tate, obviously really good to have her back. Uh, you know, she's she's so good at doing the comedy and the serious acting in one scene and stuff like that. She's honestly really good. Yasmin Finney was actually way better than I expected. I didn't think she'd have that big a role when she was first announced. Um, but no, she 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 was good. She was really good. Um, Jacka Linking, of course, amazing, as she was back in the day, back in the end of time with her. Are you shouting at Finair scene? You know, she brings that same kind of comedy and stuff. Um, <laughs> Sean Temple, uh, obviously it's Carl Collins' sort of first interactions with the Doctor and kind of his first proper Doctor Who episode because the, the end of time he, he was very much a background character, you know, he didn't really have that much importance to the main story but um, no, uh, Carl Collins was just real, was really good. Um, and he was really funny as well. Um, I really did think he was one of the highlights of the episode. Beat the Meep. <laughs> Amazing. Just the writing by RTD and Miriam's voice acting. Oh, I'll just knock my chair down. Miriam's voice acting was just really funny. And um, again, just really good with the comic timing. The story looks amazing. Uh, the Wrath Warriors, uh, the visuals and everything, really, really good. Um, the music, let's talk about the music. Uh, Murray Gold, obviously it's his first episode back as composing. Uh, I thought his music has evolved a bit. Uh, especially with the Camden music right at the start. And there was another bit as well which uh, really stuck out in my mind. Um, I think it was the TARDIS bit at the end. I can't really remember. There's another bit that I thought in my mind. Oh, I'll mention that at the end, but I forgot. But there's a couple of pieces that really did stick out in my mind as a nice new bit of fresh air from Murray Gold, especially the Camden bit right at the start. But um, yeah, it's nice to it's nice to have him back. Uh, see Gunakinola for me did a really good job of bits of the score, so the Spy Master score, uh, 13's theme, the main Doctor Who theme as well, and a couple other pieces were good, but I just don't think you can beat Murray Gold, as long as, and it's and it's nice to see that it seems that he's evolved his music a bit, and the way it's put in the show and stuff, um, which will be nice to see how that develops. But yeah, uh, the story looks amazing. Obviously, we can see that there's a nice big chunk of Disney money g going into it, which is always nice to see. Um, especially with that TARDIS. Wow. <laughs> um, I mean, the more I see it, it, the more it sort of warms on me and stuff like that. We've seen Shooter Gatwa film 
with a purple interior right coming from the TARDIS and we did very briefly see the purple as the Doctor was spinning through, through the colours and that very settled on the sort of cyan light blue, blue colour but yeah um, it's all very exciting to have Doctor Who back um, I did say that I like the fact it's a very sort of tame episode to bring us back into the world and stuff I don't think we could start with say wild blue yonder and sort of go from there because it it wouldn't work it would be too much of of a jarring jump um i mean obviously we've not seen the story we don't know what's in it but it's said to be quite a different kind of story um but that's going to be next week which is exciting so we're going to leave it there um that is obvious time thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like and a comment tell me what you thought of the episode i'd love to know your thoughts um Tell me what you're excited to see next week um, from the very little information we know. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.